when the daily candle just closed in the downside territory, if I'm to tell you that I see a possibility that the price bouncing from here, maybe to 62, maybe to 64, but why? How will that affect altcoin market? Especially, take a look at XRP. If Bitcoin shows you a bounce and XRP Bitcoin shows you a downside, what does that mean? Because the news should be understood. The stock market impact should be understood. Even though the revenue report is 3.8% higher than the expectations, the price action is muted. And that's on the stock market side of things with the higher risk assets. How will this impact the crypto market and what should you be looking for? Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10% of this world. What you're watching in front of you is that XRP is still strong. It's still holding that micro trend line, even though Bitcoin broke that to the downside and closed on the daily. XRP shows you it's strong, Bitcoin broke below. But then you start to look through, okay, are we missing something? Are the whales doing something beneath what we can see? And then you get to understand the fact that the price action was a doji. And this is at a time when the volume of sellers who entered the market in last 24 hours it was much higher than the previous candle. If you look at the previous candle, the downside was much bigger. You don't even have to measure. At that point, you get to understand something. Huh. If more sellers entered the market and still the price didn't drop, that means someone on the other side is buying this. That's Bitcoin. Yeah, I agree, that's Bitcoin. But then it shows you interest in the crypto market. So what we are watching is that price action is showing you that in this region, the price is trying to make a reversal structure. So yes, that's on a daily. You zoom out, go on a three day, and you get to see we have not changed anything. We're still in this range. And that's troublesome because that plays with your patience. The timing is the hardest part. So when it plays with your patience, it's really hard. So unless you zoom out and observe the price action and ask the question, say, you can add the moving averages to simplify where we are. You get to see the short-term moving average, which is the 20-day moving average, which I'm using here, is actually slowing a bit down while the 50-day moving average is still going to the upside. And between that time, you made a local bottom to go for your wave three. Now, why is that important here? If you understand the fact that we did the one, the two, and the three like this, now you would look for the one, the two, and the three as well. Why? We are giving the same room, the same region, price action, all those things are coming in picture. You're just erasing a ton of volatility using those two moving averages. And it suggests last time, while you observed that the MACD was here, the MACD is almost at the same territory, the price action to the RSI was showing you it was kind of close to 41 towards 45. Now, watch where the RSI is, 45, 48. It's at similar region. So the indicators are starting to give you an idea. We are preparing for wave three. The wave structure, if you are a wave guy, you are kind of getting almost the same results. So yes, that's the trouble. You know that it's about to go higher, but then you go on a macro chart and you say, huh, we're still in the bull flag. We understand that this asset will rip higher. 
But on a short term, when you zoom in a daily, a four hour, whatever you are looking at, it kind of gives you the idea we are in a consolidative mode. And whatever bounce you may see here can be a micro one. It can still consolidate here. It can still play out in this pattern and that can break higher after two, three weeks. But then that's playing with your emotion. That's playing with your patience. Unless you have a ton of discipline, it's going to be hard to go through that. Say you go into the altcoin market. You're looking at Ether. This is where you are. You broke to the downside. You retested that region, 2900. Then you came back down close to 2300. This was the territory which I told you guys to watch when we were bouncing off from 2300. Now, we are doing that. And while we are doing that, what should you be looking at? The thought process which the RSI is delivering is that we're trying to break higher from a trend line resistance which has been there from Feb 2024. So that's like six months of resistance, which if we break now shows that we're going back to at least test this trend line as a resistance, which is the fact that saying, okay, Ether from this point can go test this resistance, which is going to be at 40% run up. And if Ether can do that 40% run up, then assets like XRP may break higher. Assets like XRP can give you that momentum because they are strong now. They're not breaking lower. So then you zoom in. You want to see, is there a trap? Now, if you look at the volume to price, we got way higher buying volume compared to the previous small buying volume here. But then it is showing you the price didn't go up. So sellers are still active in this asset, whether we like it or not, right? And we just saw bullish news did not materialize in that way for NVIDIA, which still has the high, which still is at the higher end of the price territory, but still the market is not responding positively. So you go look at the dollar. Huh, dollar had a micro bounce, and that can be one of the reasons. But when you're looking at dollar, you're watching the fact that, okay, that's not looking like a reversal. That does not look like a macro change in the trend. Rather, it's just following a micro trend line. So you are observing this kind of a drop, which may be increasing in momentum. So instead of going with this trend line, it is now showing you rather than 102.5, I may get rejected close to 101.6. Now that shows a lot, that speaks a ton. When you're on a weekly chart, the macro is starting to look just like what we detailed in last video. If you're here and you didn't watch last two, three videos, watch. Because the price action is doing almost exactly as we spoke. And if that's true, you are near that opportunity zone or you are at the end of that territory in the crypto market. How can you reinforce that thought process or validate that? Is it true? Is it not? You come here, you're looking at the price action. You're observing that, yeah, the price is slowing down. On a weekly chart, the price is slow. But what can you see? We are forming an inside candle. Usually, this kind of a structure push the price down to test the bottom. But now we're not doing that. We are behaving properly. So you're like, okay, let me see what's happening inside that. So you zoom in. Say so you go on a three-day chart, you're like, the trend line is still the same. The price is following that channel. There is no difference. That's a bull flag. Now you have a micro trend line, which is being respected. XRP is in that category. Usually when the total altcoin market shows I'm bullish, XRP is not participating in that. Right now when the market is saying, I have bullish divergence and I'm continuing the same, XRP is joining the party. I mean, that's something to look for. Because if this market is about to bounce and break further to the upside, this time around, it feels like XRP is about to participate well. 
Say you want clarity, you zoom in, you want to see what the noise level look like. And that's where the total altcoin market shows we had a lot of selling volume in last 24 hours, but that did not materialize in a long shaved candle to the downside. Rather, it ended up as a doji. So someone is buying heavy in the altcoin side. So if we had to look for the short term summary of what's happening in next two or three days, we may get a bounce. Now, what do we want? We know the fact that there is a trend line resistance running like this. So we want to break that. So if the altcoin market in percentage terms is bouncing, say, 6%, ah, that's still the resistance. But if we can break that, go up 7 8 9%, that's a break through this key range or a pattern, which would then signal, yeah, you are starting something big. So you go on a weekly and argue the fact that, okay, if we are doing that, that's not just on a daily. If you go on a three-day, if you go on a weekly, that breakout is valid on higher time frame. And then you get to understand the fact that, huh, last time when you did this, it was something like this. The price action was below the moving average. Now you are in that category, in that territory. The price to RSI was showing you it's rounding up. We're getting similar vibes here. That means a burst through here is all that we want. Let's follow the market and see what happens. While we do that, if you're like, okay, there is a ton of assets in the market and I'm interested in a lot of them, especially when you're looking through the first hundred, the next hundred, and you're asking the question, which one looks like an opportunity to focus next two months? next two weeks. If that's you, the SI family is there to help you. You can use the link in the description to reach me, to do a one-on-one -on -one session, talk through your portfolio, get a detailed understanding of how you are aligned and what your expectations are. Does, they, does it really match your expectation to the way you have set your portfolio? Does that match? If it does, that's a good thing. So guys, if you receive value, smash that like button for me. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.